Hey guys, James again. Um, I'm just going to do a quick review on the F2 Cube, or Shingen as some people call it. Um, um, I bought this at speedcubeshop.com. If you don't know where to get to that, I'll put a link in the description. Um, and so, out of the box, this was a really good cube. I was really surprised how good it was. Um, it was quite loose on the tension, so I had to tighten it a bit. Um, but it was a really um, good with speed. It was great for one-handed as well. Um, like it could just turn really fast. And um, the stickers were really good out of the box. But in about a week when I was still using the same stickers, I found that the blue and the red and a bit of the yellow were fading. Like they got scratches on them if you scratched it. So what I did is I ordered some Cube Smith stickers. If you don't know where you get them, I'll put a link in the description. And I put them on. Uh, they've worked really good. Um, I'm about to put some new Cube um, Cube Smith stickers on. I might put some tiles, but probably not because I like stickers better than tiles. It's just my preference. Um, but yeah. Um, so uh, over time, this has kind of lost its F2 feeling, like the feeling that it had when it came out of the box. It's not um, become worse, but it's um, but it's just feels different than when it came out of the box. Um, it's really good for speed. Um, let's just take a look at the pieces. So the pieces look like this. They're a bit different to Rubik's pieces. So that's an edge. Um, and this is a corner. The corner is pretty much the same. Um, yeah, they're pretty standard corners. Um, when I first got this, I didn't uh, lube it for a while, but then I lubed it with some CRC. But now I don't lube my cubes with CRC, I use Lubix now. This has still got CRC in it, um, and I've just ordered some Lubix, um, some new Lubix. So when it comes in, I'm going to clean out all the CRC and put Lubix in, so it will be way better. And the, here is the um, size comparison to my LAN LAN. Um, with a LAN LAN, it's probably about just a bit bigger. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't have another 3x3 to compare it with at the moment because my um, other 3x3s are in pieces because I'm um, just um, adjusting them at the moment and they're not where I can get them right now. But um, there will be a size comparison in a later video when I've got this. Um, this has got really good um, speed and finger tricks. Um, you can perform finger tricks on here really well. Um, I've never had it pop with the tension that I've got it. Um, I have my cubes quite tight. I probably would like it a bit looser, but I just haven't got around to tensing it. Um, so, when it's loose out of the box and you don't tension it, it will pop on you a bit. Um, but, yeah, if you tension it, and if you don't know how to tension it, I'm going to put a video on how to assemble a cube and tension it pretty soon. When I ordered, um, when I get my cube in, I've just ordered a Zanchi. Um, because I heard they're really good, and I'm going to do an assemble video for that. Um, so overall, this cube is really good. Um, I know a lot of cubers that are getting 15 seconds and under that still use this cube. Um, it's probably based for an intermediate cuber, like I am averaging about between 25 and 35 at the moment. I'm not really sure. Um, my times are pretty all over the place at the moment but yeah intermediate cube like me, um cuba like me is it's great for um but so if you have you're still using a rubik's um order this because it's really good um and it's great for speed great for one-handed and you can get pretty good times on it your times um if you're going if you've got a rubik's brand that's turning really slow get this and your times will improve on speed and so, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my video on the F2 review.